ladies and gentlemen, this is Shakina McNeil with Black Line Entertainment. I'm sitting here with the very lovely Tedra Moses. Just got off stage and did an amazing performance. You, Zali. You rocked it, love. You rocked it. So I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, for the people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Just get us familiarized with you. Well, I am Tedra Moses, the lioness. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm a singer and a songwriter. Um, I had an album come out. 2004, I think it was, called Complex Simplicity. After that, I started to write for different artists like Mary J. Blige, um, Raphael Sadiq, uh, 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 Kelly Rowland. I can't remember everybody, but a lot of people made a nice amount of money. I lost it all, so don't come asking me for no loans. It's all gone now, okay? Um, but yeah, just a singer, songwriter, soul artist, and of recent, um, I've been doing a lot of touring getting back into just doing my own stuff, coming out with an album this year called The Lioness, Lover, Believe, the Dreamer, and the EP in April um, called Empress Pride. Okay, definitely. So, you know, everybody in the industry knows you for being on your grind. You're always moving, always doing stuff. So what inspires you? What keeps you motivated to keep going? I have to pay my bills. I feel like. <laughs> that, that's one of the reasons. But no, really, honestly, um, that's money is not my ultimate motivation. Um, I was put on this plan to do something, you know, and I have a voice that my mother gave to me, and I'm going to use that to continue to, you know, make people feel good, and to feel good and make write songs. Not only do I have a voice, I have a pen. So I just, you know, do what God put me on this plan to do, and I enjoy doing it. That's really my motivation. It's not about fame. It's not about accolades. It's about having a purpose, and I'm fulfilling my purpose. Definitely, definitely. Well, you're definitely doing a good job at it, mommy. Thank you. Keep Not going. Thank you. <laughs> so, with everything going on, like, how has the music industry been treating you? Like, how is your life being, like, just so popular? You know, I know that you have had a lot of mixtapes, but most of your mixtapes don't feel like mixtapes. They feel like albums. There's so much emotion into it. Does that, how does that help you establish your relationships and build your fan base over the years that you've been doing this? It has been wonderful. Um, I put out my first mixtape, I think, in 2003. Yeah. And I put out one every other year since then. And, um, I think that it's been exercise. You know, I got into music six months after I wrote my first song and recorded my first song, I had a deal. You know, six months after that, I had an album out. So I didn't perform, I didn't really pay dues to get in it. Mm -hmm. So once I got in it and I just made these songs and people liked them, I had to figure out how to keep doing it, you know? And it took a lot of exercise. Mixtapes are exercise. Like, you know, the more you do it, you put these compilations together and people like the feel of the project, it makes you feel confident to keep going and do more. Um, my my relationship with my audience is very important to me. With my fan base, with the people that um, listen to my music, is very very important to me. I'm very appreciative of them. So giving away free mixtapes was just my way to say thank you for believing in me. Thank you for riding with me continuously. You know, it was just my way of being grateful to my uh, my audience. So have your fans been supportive of like everything you've been doing? I know you're working on a documentary right now. How have your fans been looking at you and like supporting you through all of that that you've been doing with your documentary? Um, very supportive. I, I, the most supported fans like my fans sent me to um essence festival last year you know oh, nice. they contributed money to help me do my documentary you know they've been very supportive i've had extremely supportive fans and um hopefully i can continue to give them you know content that they appreciate and make them feel like they're not the only one you know make them feel like there's somebody else out there that they can relate to yeah so what black line wants to know is with you being signed to you know your label what is it that like has they brought you to different levels have you been having more doors open to you being signed with Maybach um the affiliation with Maybach did open a lot of doors with me for me but um of recent I'm moving to another label not any for any reason of um conflict or I'm so appreciative of Rick Ross like you know it's just moving to another label where, um, because we, Rick Ross and I never made signed the paper. Okay. So moving to another label where we can have more of a plan of how I'm moving forward. I think he just appreciated my work and wanted to help me, you know? So I just thank him for that, but I think I'm going to, well, we are not think I am, moving to another label and um, putting out a project with you. Well, Black Line would definitely like to thank you so much for sitting down, taking this time to talk with us. And um, is there anything else you want to say to your fans or any information you want to put out where we can find you at online or anything? Yes, you can find me on Instagram. I'm at Teacher Moses on um, Twitter. I'm at Teacher Moses on fa Facebook. I'm something with Teacher Moses. And, you know, if you Google Teacher Moses, you're going to find me, Todd. You're going to find me. And I'm very appreciative of you. I'm appreciative of Black Line Entertainment. And um, just look out for your girl. I'm here. I better find her. She was rocking it, man. <laughs>